Hi, welcome to my first PC build in TechRec. I'm going to show you how to build a high-end gaming PC at a budget of 1.8 to 2 lakhs where you can game at all the titles at 1080p, 2K and 4K resolution and it is going to pack a lot of punch with awesome speed and performance. But before getting any further, I would like everyone to like, share and subscribe this channel and also hit the bell notification icon in case any of my new future tech pops up. So without any further ado, let's build it. So let's see what are the components that we are going to use for this build. The first thing that we are going to see is the GPU and the CPU which acts as the base of the build and around it goes all the other components. For the GPU, we have the RTX 3090, one of the most powerful and top of the line card from Nvidia. And what are we going to use for this build is from Zotac Gaming, the Trinity OC edition which we have seen in our last video and I have done some benchmarks and tests. But in this video, we can see what this fellow is truly capable of. And a short spec about this particular card, it has a 24 GB video memory, max boost clock of 1710 MHz and 3 display port 1.4 and has a 1 HDMI 2.1 port, has a lot of Tensor cores, CUDA cores and ray tracing cores, also has a Spectra 2.0 RGB lightning and advanced cooling system with 350 watt power supply consumption. This card is a very beautiful card and I'm really excited to use this in our build. For the CPU, we have the Ryzen 7 5800X where it is a 8 core 16 thread processor, has a base clock frequency of 3.8 GHz and a max boost frequency of 4.7 GHz and a TDP of 105 watts. It supports PCIe 4.0 and DDR4 memory type and has memory capacity speeds up to 3200 MHz. It is one of the best right now and it is very apt for gaming. Even the 5900 or the 5950X is kind of an overkill. But if you are looking to cut down on the budget and looking for some card which can deliver the full performance of the GPU too, then this CPU is well worth for its money and it's kind of one of my favorites right now in the Ryzen series. Installing the CPU and GPU into our motherboard from ASUS, the Tough Gaming B550M Plus Y52. It is an ATX motherboard. It's a great motherboard with PCIe 4.0 slot, DDR4 memory, good for overclocking and includes four SATA ports, dual M.2 slots and plenty of USB ports including a Type-C port. It has a great heatsink design and also it is a rare motherboard for its price point. It only costs around 19 to 20,000 right now in the Indian market. And trust me, this is a great catch for this build. For the RAM, we are going to use a Corsa Vengeance RGB, which is a DDR4 3200 MHz 32 GB RAM. And I'm going to use two of it for a dual channel memory, two into 16 GBs and two DIMM slots. I really like the RGB uh, light pipe design in this. And also, I really feel 32 GB is kind of the sweet spot. Even though 16 is, up, is enough, I really feel 32 will do better for you, especially when you're recording or streaming games. So for the storage, we have 1 TB of Samsung 980 Pro, which is a PCIe 4 NVMe M.2 SSD. Right now, the fastest in the market has, has a read speed of around 7,000 megabits per second and write speeds of around 5,100 per second. Especially when you're using a graphics card like the RTX 3090, it can utilize its full potential, which is really, really crucial for gaming. And this is going to act as a primary storage and also as a boot storage. We can also use it for games, especially multiplayer games, which requires a lot of more loading speeds. And when you're connecting it to the server, you don't need to have that lag. For additional storage, we do have the Seagate Skyhawk which is a 4 TB hard drive which is going to act as an additional uh, you know storage for all the games that you're going to save and maybe a lot of other workload content that is going to be essential for the cooling solutions 
we do have the Cooler Masters Master Air MA612 Stealth ARGB with dual sick flow 120 ARGB fans. There are two reasons that have chosen this. One is for the cost and two is for the performance. It has a very quiet operation and comparatively to a liquid cooler, I really say that this performs equally. Maybe a stock air cooler doesn't do much of a difference, but when it comes to a custom air cooler, I really feel these days, these guys are, you know, very much equal to all those liquid coolers. For the power supply, we are going to use Corsair's RM1000X, which is a 80 plus gold standard, fully modular power supply. We definitely need this much amount of power, especially when you're using the 3090 and also the 5800X. And moreover, when you are looking to, you know, upgrade your PC in the near future, I guess this would be more than enough. And you don't need to do much when in terms of, you know, uh, changing the PSU in the near future too. And as far as the case is concerned, we are going with the uh, NZXT, uh, you know, H510 Elite. It is one of the most beautiful looking cases. And moreover, it has a tempered uh, side and, uh, uh, you know, friend glass panel and has a good cooling solution it's one of my favorite uh, you know uh, case because i am using uh, h500 in my personal one has also a usb uh, you know c type uh, port on the front and has a good amount of you know cooling solutions overall comes with uh, two inbuilt argb fans so that is kind of an uh, you know added uh, plus when we are buying this case Overall, for this price point, I feel this is right now the best mid-tower ATX case that we can find and which is going to hold our build together. So without any further delay, let's build this and see how it actually looks. So I have assembled the PC. I think I guess uh, I have done a fairly good job, uh, you know, in the cable management section. And I'm also confident that this will be doing really, really great. I can't wait to on this. And now let us see what this guy is really capable of.
So here we are at the end of this video. I am really really glad that I built this PC because by this I know what the 3090 is really capable of. But my main surprise was the motherboard. The Mini 80X performed really really good especially with the overclocking and gaming performance. I never really expected more out of this and also this looks really really beautiful. I love the RGB especially from the stock ARGB fans from NZXT and also the RGB strip that is given on the top. So if you guys need any PC to be built in the future or need my suggestion, do uh, contact me in my email ID below. I'll be definitely happy to help you or at least comment down below. Do like, share and subscribe my channel and also hit the bell notification icon in case any of my new PC builds pops up in the future. I also given my PayPal link in the description below in case you guys are helping me to build this channel for the future for some great great content.